All right, people, welcome back to a new video. Sorry that I haven't posted in a while. I spent a few days uh, thinking over a few business ideas. I won't get into too much detail. Today, we are taking a look at 36 questions women have for men. Let me just crack my knuckles, make sure that I'm ready to debate with a computer screen. Let's go. How does it feel to be the same sex as Donald Trump? It feels fucking amazing, dude. It is actually the greatest experience of all time. <laughs> Why do you hate rom-coms? Or do you just feel like you need to hate them? I don't hate romantic comedies, but it's very feminine. It's just a bunch of emotions. Everybody likes The Notebook. Everybody likes Beyonce. It's just a fact. Absolutely not. Beyonce sucks. Why do you make women sit around and talk about men in movies when y'all easily just sit around and talk about boobs? for hours. First of all, that question makes no sense. Second of all, last time I had a boob conversation is when I was 12 years old. It doesn't happen very often. Why do you automatically assume that you won't like TV or movies that star a female lead? There are plenty of great movies with female leads. The most popular one is The Hunger Games. I think this movie is pretty good. But the main focus of the movie isn't the action. It's about the relationships and emotions that Katniss experiences throughout the game. Why are you surprised when women are funny? I'm probably funnier than you. I don't believe you. Why do you think that we're obsessed with you when we hook up? Nine times out of ten, I just want you to leave too. I'm busy. I got shit to do. If you're not obsessed, it means that the dude was ugly. Meaning that you lowered your standards just to get some. We're doing whole politics now. Why can't I sleep with as many people as I want to without being judged? When you've figured out your life and you have the success that you want, you're not going to look for a woman that's been with 50 dudes. Why do you consider a woman a tease if she doesn't sleep with you after three dates, but a slut if she sleeps with you on the first date? That's way too specific. No one ever does that only mentally ill people in what world does no mean yes no means no really i didn't know that you don't say people commit crimes because they want to not because it's allowed why do you say that women are too emotional to be leaders then justify catcalling by saying men just can't control themselves no one thinks like this why do you think that just because you're nice to me i owe you my body first you said that we judge you for sleeping with too many people now you think that we judge you for not letting people sleep with you too much what are you talking about why would you ever send an unsolicited dick pic never have never will <laughs> Why do you feel like it's okay to harass women? We have never thought that it's okay to harass people. Or make offensive comments about women, but when somebody does it to your sister, it's not okay. Look, if I sat on a bench with my friend and he harassed someone walking on the street, I'd be pissed off, but I wouldn't say too much about it. If this friend of mine decided to harass my sibling, I'd beat him to the verge of death and make sure that he's scared for the rest of his life that I'll turn up to his doorstep, because then you're making it personal. How does it feel to interrupt me when I'm in the middle of making a point? I'm gonna stop you right there before you- why do you have to sit with your legs so wide open? I get that you have balls, but I don't stand around with my arms wide open to make room for my boobs. When a human stands in a relaxed position, the arms are kept away from the chest area. We do not want to sit like women because we have something in between there that you don't. Plus, you're exposing your cleavage right now. It's not like men cut out their pants to expose an area of their balls. Why are women perceived as the weaker sex? even though we literally birth you. Science says that men are stronger than women. Sorry. Why is it so bad to show your emotions? It means you're human. It's not that we don't show emotions. It's that we try to not have emotions to a certain degree. We're not going to stop being human. We're going to practice stoicism to make sure that we don't want to commit suicide as soon as something bad happens. Why the f*** isn't it ladylike to cuss? When did words get gender? I don't know, man. I don't mind cursing because I do it a lot. So that'd be very hypocritical of me. Why do you assume a woman's angry because she's on her period? So most of us are going to think about it, but not everyone is going to ask that question because we get f***ing punched in the face. Why do you think women that wear makeup are false advertising? We can say the same thing about your dick size. What are you talking about? It's not like I put contour on my dick. Why isn't it weird that there's a bunch of old white men sitting in a room making legislation about what I can and can't do with my body? Do you have a coochie? The people in power are not just going to hand out the leadership role to someone else for the sake of feminism. They don't care about your feelings. Why are straight guys so obsessed with lesbians? Um, <laughs> simple answer, really. I, I, I don't know how you don't understand this, but uh, it's twice the amount of women. How does it feel to get kicked in the ball? Probably f hurts a lot. Do you ever get tired of trying to be manly all the time? No, but I'll tell you one thing, that's for sure. I mean, by the way that you're dressed, I could probably ask you the same thing. Why are you so afraid of gender equality? Why do I deserve to be paid less than you? In what world does 77 cents equal a dollar? If a man and a woman works the same job, they'll get the same paycheck. Unfortunately, men and women don't work the same jobs. You don't work as hard. You can get paid exactly as much as I do. But you don't f***ing want to. Why are you intimidated by a woman who makes more money than you? That's awesome. 
more money. I'm not intimidated by it, but it does mean that the woman is probably more masculine than me, and that kind of freaks me out. Why are opinionated women seen as bitches? When opinionated men are seen as bosses. No, a boss is a job title. So when you're really opinionated, and all of your opinions are just based off emotions, you're being bitchy. If a man had the same kind of subjective opinions about things, he'd be called a bitch too. Why aren't you speaking up when you hear your male friends behind closed doors make jokes that are offensive to women? Women are always gossiping and being disrespectful to each and every person on this fucking planet. So why do you expect me to stand up and be some kind of a hero as soon as one of my friends make a joke about women? I don't care. I'll probably laugh at it too.